back. Today in the Bourbon Bar, we're gonna be reviewing something a little newer. It's something pretty cool. It's been going around. Uh, Nulu's Toasted Barrel Small Batch. Um, the proof on it's pretty awesome. You know, I'm a proof head. And I do, I am a fan of barrel finishes. Just kind of depends which type. And uh, the Toasted Barrel has been a popular worldwide and kind of popular with me as well. Uh, this Nulu is a pure wine exclusive small batch. So not a single barrel, but a smaller batch going around that certain retailers are getting to select barrels from. Um, it is 116.8 proof and is aged for actually a very short time. Um, I think it says uh, finished in toasted barrels. One to four weeks is the finishing time in the new barrel. Um, so pretty young, uh, relatively, but that's just a four to a six year MGP product to begin with. So not very high age, but a very good product at the end of the day. So let's get the Glen Karen rolling and see what we can get for legs and whatnot. Um, I want to mention this bottle has been open for about a month, so it's had a little bit of time to breathe. And, you know, as I say, I like to give things either higher proof or higher age, a little time to breathe, just so they can either open up the right way and or improve and in some cases actually get worse but um, for the most part it's, it's a good thing to offer something on a higher age or higher proof it is a very nice rich golden color the lights on this are actually really nice really rich and deep and um, definitely what you'd be looking for in something nicer and higher age Actually a very nice pleasant nose, uh, syrup, rich brown sugars, a little bit of caramel, a little burnt orange peel. Like you get the orange zest, but it's not like fresh when it's bright and you pinch a squeeze off it. It's more like if you ever flamed an orange peel for a cocktail, it's kind of more of that style of uh, fragrance. A little barrel char and a little banana peel specifically. A little bit of heat in the mouth, not a lot, not overpowering. Right as you start to get that mouth heat or warmth, uh, you get some of that barrel char, some spice, some cinnamon, caramel, brown sugar, and uh, yeah, it's very nice. It's not very overpowering in any of those elements, but it definitely has a little bit of barrel spice, cinnamon, and uh, like brown sugar forward tasting notes. Um, I don't think this is super easy to find these days. Nulu is a newer brand so, and to be honest to see any of their lineup it's far and few and in between to be honest but if you see it and you like toasted barrel products I would definitely recommend this one. I've had the Penelope toasted barrel very recently and I like it, I don't love it, I'm not over the moon for it, but this one I would say I like significantly more than the Penelope version. And both products are from MGP and then aged or refinished in toasted, uh, yeah, toasted barrels. Once you get into the finish, it's pretty simple. Nice medium length of spicy, and then it kind of sweetens out and fades away. Not very long, but good ultimately. The nose is awesome. The palette is very awesome. And the finish is just a little bit short, but it's not bad. So I guess if I were to rate it, I'd have to, again, consider pricing, availability, and quality. Quality meaning the mouthfeel, the taste, all that jazz. And, um, I'd give it a B minus overall. The pricing is B minus because it's 80 bucks almost. It's 75 bucks is what we paid. I'm not too sure what regular MSRP is on it, but I would have to imagine at least 60 to 70. And some places, you know, if they got a single barrel or something of their own, they might throw an extra five, 10, 15 bucks on it. You never know, but it's not ridiculously overpriced, but you know, when you're thinking of $80 bottles, it's you have some other options. Um, 
the availability would be like a C, so that kind of brings it down a bit. And then the quality being a B would kind of raise it up a little bit. So we'll just give it a B, B minus. And um, it's not because it's bad, it's because it's hard to find and kind of on the pricier side. Anyways, thanks for joining us today. And uh, don't forget to follow us on TikTok, on Instagram. And uh, there is a public Facebook group if you care to join. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for stopping in.